a look at Casper. I hope the audio isn't too bad. You got some feedback there that the uh, the mic might have been shot there. I ended up dropping it when I moved it here. So if that's the case, well, uh, I ended up getting a new one ordered. So hang in there a couple of days. Uh, it'll it'll sound better. All right. So anyway, we ended up. Uh, First off with Caspa, we got to pull back down here to the box where we were looking for. Uh, there was only one more target it could have went to, and that was lower. It hit our first target, ran up into the wedge, broke out of the wedge. We were looking for uh, right about 18 cents. Ended up coming up to about 17.8. All right, so just fell a hair short here. All right, now if we put a Fibonacci, this is on a 12-hour chart. Each one of these candles represents 12 hours. Put a fib on here. You can see we made it right, right up here, right to the 786. All right, and got rejected off there. Now we're gonna take a look at some stuff here in a minute. See where this pullback could go. Um, if the pullback's over, uh, maybe maybe we got a one two and we're starting to the upside. We'll take a look here in a second. I do want to show you a few things. Bitcoin. Ended up posting this in Discord last night. Took a short on Bitcoin right up here at the arrow uh, for the ABC correction here. All right, this uh, this ended up coming up to a 618. And then we took the C leg down uh, for that short right there. This white line was the target bottom. Ended up waking through here a little bit down to uh, 94,440. Uh, which is good when your target is down here, right? If you wick through up the top and your stop loss, uh, we'll take a wick uh, through our target price any day. So ended up being a nice trade there in Discord. Now if we get some of this noise off here, takes these off here. All right, let's see what's going on here with Bitcoin. Uh, that was our target. That should, should be a bottom there, right? So we're going to mark this over here. And just well, we'll mark it down here at the low right okay so now you can see we are uh, pulling down here now this move right here this is like i said this is a four hour chart and yeah, this push up pull back push up right what do we get as far as the fibonacci goes on here right up to that 702 look at that if we come in on an hourly it's a little bit easier to see uh, you can see we ran up that 702 and got rejected now are we is this thing uh, doing another correction here? Or is it gonna uh, find some ground here and start bouncing? Well, this should have technically been a bottom here with this ABC, right? Let's go back on a four and get a measurement here and measure this out, right? Okay, so we'll take a fib, put it on there. You can see we're right here, all right? This came right up to the 702 right here. Pull A down on top of B. Could have actually went down to here also. You have a 618 down there. All right, technically that should have been a bottom in here. Now, the only way we're really going to know is if Bitcoin you know, gets a bounce here off this pullback right here. So, we'll take the FIB and keep a very close eye on this. You know, if this is a uh, two wave coming back, you should be getting a bounce pretty soon. If it's not, you know, you would expect a bounce anywhere in this area right here. No lower than 95,000 bucks. 95,008, that's a 702. That's personally where I, if it doesn't bounce here at 95,400, I'd be looking for 95,000. As far as the RSIs go, the four hour uh, has rolled over, is bearish. Uh, it's right in the middle up here. You know, it's not like extremely. Uh, overbought or anything the eight hour is about reset uh, the 12 hour yeah 32 and 37 you can see these just kind of cruising along here cooling off a little bit uh, your daily getting near reset right so getting to that area we'll be looking for a bounce all right so 95 4 to 95 thousand i would be looking for uh if this thing is going to bounce from here you know who knows might come down here double bottom it's it's very hard to tell all right but it should hold this 94.4 94 yeah 94.4 that technically should be the low in here and like i said we'll keep a close eye on this thing but that's that's what it's looking like all right the crypto bubbles Let's see what's going on out here boys h bar flying huh Brian over in the Discord mentioned that. I didn't even see that. Wow, that thing is absolutely uh, crazy. It was up uh, more than that today. 
for the day 46.4 percent for the week 146 for the month it's done a 7x you know an h bar and l grand i've been covering those and fetch and uh, you know people sleep on these you know what i mean it's crazy look at the 24 hour volume for h bar seven billion dollars has a market cap of 13 uh, you know, it did half that in volume today. Rank number 17 now. It's uh, up four spots. Awesome. Good for H bar. I love H bar. Um, now, Caspa, uh, where are we at on here? Let's take a look. How's the volume and stuff? That's what I'm curious. Number 38 now. 255 million. Not bad. You know, we were right around 50, like almost every single day for a long time. 40 to 50 million. So I'll take a 5x in volume any day for a down day. Down 8.3%, but good volume. Uh, market cap, 3.95 billion. Down three spots to number 38. All right. So we're having a, uh, well, let's take a look at the week. Look at this. This is beautiful. That Bitcoin dominance, you know, that's that's what we're really going to have to keep that eye on. When this thing finally breaks, I have an alarm set on it. 55.88. Let's go out and look at this thing rolling right over. Or did it break? My, I didn't notice. I didn't, my alarm didn't go off if it did. Wow, it did. How about that? I apologize if I would have known that sooner. Um, that is awesome. There we go, guys. That's what we've been waiting for, right? How many videos have you watched that that, that, that I've talked about this? There we go. Now the alts, um, uh, HBAR, you know, you can see it happening. I mean, these numbers, uh, th these aren't normal. This just isn't normal right here. They're going to get a lot bigger, uh, you know. Not no guarantees there with that stuff, but uh, Bitcoin dominance breaking. That is, and look at this monthly RSI. You know, heading straight down, 45 and a 74. All right, that's what we want to see. So that is very, very good news. Over here on uh, Caspa Block Explorer, I want to see what we had going on here. Uh, 17 and a half transactions per second, uh, 0.7 blocks per second. All right, 1.28 EH. Uh, let's take a look at the addresses here. Please hit that like and subscribe. I'd appreciate that so much, guys. And consider signing up for a level three membership. Helps the channel a lot. You get a link to the Discord to come trade with us. And you get over uh, over 10 hours of videos to teach you how to start trading, how to start charting, all that stuff. We have over 200 members. We would love to have you over there. All right. So please consider that. It's only 15 bucks. Uh, look at this. 538,741. Last video I did, we were just over 400,000. That's over 100,000 wallets, um, what, in the last month? Incredible. That is fantastic to see. Uh, the last, let's look here. Last 30 days, we've added 14 whales, two humpbacks. Um, wow. Yeah. It's been a minute since we looked at these. Uh, plus 70 sharks the last 30 days. Last seven days, we've added three whales and one humpback. That's fantastic. We're up to 15 humpbacks now. That's good. There is a ton of money going to come in this market, guys. And uh, man, oh man, if it's anything like last alt season that, that, I, that I was through, and this Bitcoin dominance just uh, plummets 50% down here to, to the 20s is the target for this thing. Um, look, and it's, it's just getting started. We still have a ways to go. I mean, this thing's just starting. I mean, I'm sure it's going to pick up speed, but yeah. It's, uh, we still have another 49% to go with, with this stuff dropping. So this is great news. That just made my day. I, di I didn't know this until I, until I went to do the video here. So over on Caspa. Now, where I would be looking, you can see the rejection up here at 786 and the pushback. Uh, this is on a 12 hour. Let's zoom in a little bit on a four hour here. All right, you can see a uh, one, two, three, four, five. Five waves up right there, uh, right back up here from we end up coming down, swooping our our, our uh, target here. I had a box up here earlier, but over in Discord, um, I put a video, or not a video, a, um, a chart out, and I ended up erasing it. But if you go and watch the last video I did, we had a target bet down in this area for the pullback. Um, ended up coming down, sweeping right through here and, and right up. Okay, now... We ended up at one, two, three, four, five, five waves up here. Let's work these out so we can try to figure out what's going on, right? 
How do I know this is a two? That's a 50% pullback. I know without even measuring it. Three, four, five. All right, so we got five waves up on a four hour. Now, the question is, are, are we going to do five waves down here? Or are we going to do an ABC? We'll have to zoom in here a little bit. Let's go in the hourly. Looks like this looks like a 382 pullback, all right? Uh, let's measure it out. If it is, we're likely going to do five waves. Well, if you come right to here, okay, just this beginning part, you have a 382 pullback there, right? Um, usually a 382 is indicative with five waves down, all right? Um, could definitely see that. I, I would more or less uh, probably. Now, I'm not guaranteeing nothing, uh, but uh, that's what it looks like. You know, it looks like a one, two. Uh, what do we got here? We have three, four, five. Let me let's get out here and take a look on the bigger picture uh, where this thing could go. All right, if it's doing five waves down, all right, off of this peak here, and you can also see right here. We were in this trade in Discord. I remember this. That was a tough one, wasn't it? Ran the whole way up. Uh, or over, over here, I'm sorry. This third wave. We were in this trade. It ran the whole way up here. And look how far... Whoops, sorry about that. Look how far this uh, th three-wave pulled back or four-wave. Right back almost to our entry. There was a guy uh, up $900 right here. Pulled all the way back almost to entry right on top of uh, on top of that wave, but he did very well. You can see the fifth wave pushed up there, all right? So no telling how deep them fours are going to come back, you know? We had five there. We ended up having a correction. It's going on in one hour here. You know, we got to chart this out right here. We have an A, B, C. Uh, and kind of consolidation right through here and then we just did five waves up now if we take a look let's get that off there we know we are in a corrective structure now right let's go out in a 12 hour go from our low up to our high well, let's let's get some noise off here right Because I, I kind of, let's go on a daily, a little bit easier on a daily. Now if we go with just the start of this move right here, we're not going to get five waves in that, right? I mean, if you come on the hourly, unless, unless this, one, two, three, four, okay, this could be the fifth push down right here. This would be interesting, all right, what if the low came in right there? Somewhere right around here, possibly, possibly right back to this top of this box again. Let's take a look at something. This could work. It's on a one hour, right? If, if target was around there, what would this be here? Well, you would have a uh, one, two, three, four, and a fifth wave right here. Okay, now let's go over here. Let's go back out on a 12. If this was the target for this fifth wave, we're going to go off our low. Let's get this box off here. We hit that target for this pullback right here and then that run. I apologize. It's been a little bit since I've been doing videos here. been pretty busy. I will put this down. Down here. All right. At uh, 14... Five. That's just an odd area. It's down below that 786 here. All right. Um, let's go to daily and take a look. You know, off this. You know, that's what I'm looking for, guys. Being to be quite honest, unless this is going to get a lot deeper uh, than I'm thinking. Like if even if you go on a 30. I apologize. That was a a Cadena trade I'm in right there, taking profits. Just one, two, three, four, five. That could have been, okay. You could have a one, two, three, four, five. That could be a bottom right there. All right, a lot of times I'm figuring this out with you. Now, uh, especially with the video here, okay? If this is the bottom, you have a wick here. That could be volatility, right? 
if that's a bottom now this would make a little bit more sense with a balance area right oh yeah that would be a 618 right here all right I would think uh, worst case scenario a 702 I think uh, the this correction might be about done you know very well could be we will know very very soon all right either this this got it over with and the way we'll know on the one hour we got it we got we had this high this low we have a higher high all right if we get a higher low right here and this thing starts to bounce from right here uh, then that would uh, that would mark the end of uh, this correction here all right this volatility I don't know 100% um, if this wick is valid or not let me look at one more other chart this is only hourly let's take a look at this one real quick all right I guess it is valid so we'll take our Fibonacci from there if that is valid we'll use that low right here go up here and uh, yeah real soon this thing uh, should be getting a bounce could be right now hit a 618 if the correction is over all right and then you would expect a bounce right in this area right here so we'll see what happens it's, it's gonna happen real soon for sure um, if it goes all right the hourly RSI turn it back up very good chance of bounces here okay uh, if it don't um, you know I would I would look uh, no deeper than 15 here if this is the fifth wave coming now so you're, you're either getting a bounce now from the uh, 15 4 or, or it might be coming down to this uh, uh, 15 here but po possibly 14 8 all right so it looks like correction might be about over all right we, I'll put a video out tomorrow so we'll know for sure but you have a corrective five waves down right over here one two three four five first bounce we'll see thank you so much guys please hit that like and subscribe congratulations everybody for hanging in there this has been uh, one heck of a year uh, we got some money to make now have a great day everybody